All right. So I dropped the harsh R. You know the word. He said, I'm cutting the grass here. I'm like, my guy, you're on pavement. There's no grass. <laughs> and then he said the dumbest thing, right? He said, oh, shit. Is that a dur? That's a dur. Can you? Hello, I'm the Red Monk, and welcome to my uh, dojo. And you know, when I'm not hunting the mammoth, I like to make sweet internet videos. Today's topic is grocery stores and hugs. Let's get started. So, in my many hours of meditation as a monk, I get in this weird mindset, and everything feels the same. Like, man, you zoom in really far, all you see is atoms. And you zoom out really far, and all you see is a big universe. I mean, really, when you get down to it, anything you see, you know, it's just something of a certain area that we give a name. Like, there's this boat. What the fuck is it called? It's a boat. If a boat has all of its parts replaced while on a voyage, when it returns, is it the same boat that left the dock initially? I'd say it's whatever you want it to be. For all the molecules in the shape of a boat, it is only named the boat, classified as your brain classifies it. And matter only exists, moves, and changes. Maybe it doesn't even change. What's the difference between states? For it's only molecules the entire time. And emotions are both very meaningless and the only thing that matters. It's meaningless as you could say emotions are just the firing of neurons in our brains. Or, get this, emotions are the most important thing because it's the only thing we experience as conscious beings. Yeah, having kids or not starving we see is important, but this leads right back to wanting positive emotions and not wanting negative emotions. I also heavily doubt free will. I'd say if you were able to map every neuron state and chemical in your brain, you would tell what you're going to do before you even do it. And even if the quarks or whatever have a random spin or something, we still have no control over that. Like, what came first, our brains or the world around us? The way you make decisions is done by looking at your past experiences and making a judgment for the maximum positive emotions. I mean, the universe is a big dark place. Most of the places you'll freeze to death instantly and we live in a pool of air held to the earth by gravity. What we live to be like, 85 and we fall over and that's it. Hell, we are way, way frailer than that. Like, back before antibiotics, malaria, and other shit like Lyme's disease from a single insect bite, and then you're dead. Get hit by a drunk driver on the road, and then bam, your every memory is forgotten. Like, that's it. Now, this sounds depressing, but it's all true. We are just a temporary assortment of molecules, right? But it doesn't have to be so negative. Like, there's nothing we can do. So it personally confuses me why we all aren't on the same team. Like, uh, look at this. There's these uh, dog and cat stress relievers. They're called thunder shirts. All they pretty much do is make the pet feel like it's being hugged and it totally chills out the animal. Like, how adorable is that? You know, we are warm-blooded mammals. Just like our pets, we get these uh, positive emotions by embracing each other. It's definitely sappy, but these personal connections with other people is something deep-seated in our heads. Hell, it's a survival instinct. It's such a sweet thing, and things like hate, benefiting from screwing someone over, and bringing people down is such a shitty thing to do. 
like our brains only have so much time and that's all the time they'll ever get so worsening someone's mental state for a time is totally crude that's time that person will never get back man we are so helpless and short-lived i see no reason that we should spend any less time hugging each other and like being harsh to your fellow humans especially here in america makes no sense like the only reason to justify being a jerk is if someone is being an ass you know i'm totally behind that assholes are to be treated as assholes unprovoked assholes fuck them right like people try to be all tough and mean like oh they say the world is so tough and unforgiving and only the strong survive now uh here in america and all of you who have a personal computer it's like not really the whole struggle to survive totally went away with uh technological advancements in these things called grocery stores like man looking back on the way humans used to live the world is so easy on us people complain way too much like it sort of surprises me my we should hug each other lifestyle isn't more widespread like all the shit we don't go to worry about in a first world country it's almost surreal we don't got to worry about deadly insect bites, war zones, and starving to death. We got 100% clean, flowing, cold water all the time. Now, I ain't saying it's easy. In fact, it's not very good for a lot of people, and it could be great for everybody with our current technology. But all I'm saying is count our blessings, and think in the terms of our blessings. We got the freedom to explore art, the internet, and a ton of great stuff living in 2019. All of this while having access to excellent healthcare and grocery stores. I think really show just how far technology has taken us. Like, did you ever stop to think about the sheer non-starving we were doing? In fact, people eat too much and get so unbelievably bloated that they become useless to work and they can still stuff their faces. So these grocery stores, what are they? I am puzzled. Living in America is a cold and dark place full of hardmanships and such. So I am an extra jerk to other people, and it's justified, because I've been through the toughies, I tell ya. Ugh, a hard thing. So I am always about to starve to death. It sucks, man. Let's check out one of these, uh, grocery stores. So it's 6 or 3 a.m. And we're checking out this Walmart, this grocery store I've been hearing so much about. It's like a guy with like a fucking, why is he mowing the grass on a parking lot? Oh shit. What the hell is he doing? There's no grass. What the hell? Away from coming around again. I want him to see me filming him. There's no fucking grass. What the hell is he doing? There's no grass. Okay. Uh, we got some small watermelons for sale for three twenty-eight. It's a pretty good deal. We got some more over here. I was looking at this. Like, what the hell is it? It's like a fucking shark thing. Well, that's this good stuff. Good stuff. We got some avocado toast. It's just a whole lot of food.
Got some hepatitis C. Overall, that was a very effective trip. That was, uh... Do shit. Um... So that was our trip to Walmart. Um... Shit, the truck passed. So here's the take. Uh, we got some unsweet tea. The uniform Sierra Bravo. Shit, what else? Um, we got some beef jerky. And we got some unsweet tea, but this one's cold. So, uh, so yeah, that was a fun 6 a.m. Walmart challenge. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was actually the first bit I ever filmed for this channel. But I thought you could really see it. Like, that one cooler, two minutes and 30 seconds of walking past a wall of food. You know the world. We get a lot of health and freedom as in individuals. Yeah, people live it, but this lifestyle is not nearly embraced as much as it should be. Like... We have the ability to wake up and not be concerned about anything, you know, too, too serious. As long as we play our cards right. You know, we have uh, extra resources. We can all support each other and still be friends. But, uh, you know, humans are really good at screwing over other humans for personal gain. And I think that's just the dumbest thing. My world. Life would be a party and everyone would be friends and hugging each other. It's not like we have any technological restrictions. But, but the thing is, if you're hugging for like two hours straight, it sort of loses its greatness. In fact, it gets pretty awkward. Our brains use relative reasoning in everything we do. Like, that's why I believe all this hate and harsh vibes still exist in such a non-fight as life in a first world country. Like, if you were very happy all the time, being happy would just become the new average. That's why maybe hate is still present here in America. Even though life's relatively easy, we sort of got used to it. We take it for granted. Like, to be super relaxed, you gotta get stressed and feel the contrast. And the easiness on a first world country is so dense around us, it's hard to find the difficulty in contrast. People say the struggle of life is so tough and I gotta be a dick to other people because only the strong survive. And they're stuck in the relativeness and woes of a first world life. And a lot of people have the inability to see the world from another perspective. Not that we're shitty people who should feel guilty for having grocery stores but we really should not disregard just how fortunate we are. Okay, so I'm pretty sure people are about to leave a comment calling me out on whatever dumb thing I didn't make preschool clear to disprove, didn't watch the whole video. 
I want to say uh, minor things. Yeah, being a lower class citizen in America really sucks. And America is becoming more like India with the whole caste system. Which I talked about in my video about how America hates the younger generation. But hey, you know, at least we got freedom and some other shit that not many other people have. And you could always have it worse. Hell, most people have it worse than the average American citizen. So there's really no reason to screw over other people. You won't starve to death if you're nice when you could be mean. Yeah, money and status only really matter and people screw others over like it's their only choice. But that really bums me out and I wish we could enjoy the world together and take comfort in each other. Like the food, water, and safety are not really much of a fight anymore. And, you know, it's personally out of my strength to murder every single narcissistic fuckback he screws over people. Put it down, put it down. Okay, alright. And I want to say, if you make the world around you a worse place for people who live in it, the world is better off without you. I know if you're watching this and not telling me to KYS in the comments, you're my friend and I hope you're having a nice day. I mean, it really only takes like two calories to smile and make someone else's day better. And when we are meaningless, short-lived walking apes, there's no reason to not find comfort and hug each other. Alright, this is way too sappy.